So, Tom, assuming that it is an invasive cancer, not a borderline, right. appreciating that some of these are endometrioid or clear cell, again, not germ cell, mm -hmm. is chemotherapy always needed in early stage ovarian cancer? And if, if, if not, which patients can chemotherapy be avoided in? Yeah, so I, I think a uh, number of things to consider, and, and we've talked about some of them. Uh, what, what's the histology? Um, how many cycles of chemotherapy are you thinking about? You, you, you know, we get into three versus six, for example. And then um, what's the stage? Uh, and, and importantly for me, um, I tend to treat um, most grade two tumors uh, and beyond. So grade two, grade three for me, and I know it's controversial and I'd be happy to hear what the rest of the panel does, but for me, I err on the side of treatment because I think that's our best chance for cure is up front. And um, I, I would hate to think that the cancer came back because I didn't treat. Uh, it's been said twice already, but the, um, the need for thorough staging has yes. to be emphasized here. Thank and you, it's Oliver. been said twice. And can I, be done yeah. laparoscopically or Correct. robotically. Mm -hmm. it, the mode doesn't matter, but it has to be done. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the important part. But if you have a stage 1A, for example, or even 1B, grade 1, that tumor does not necessarily need chemo. And I usually omit chemo in those patients. And for the stage 1A or 1B grade 3 tumor, or 1C, that patient does? Absolutely. Pretty much anybody beyond what I just said. And that, but how about the grade 2? So I, I always say what you yeah. say, grade 1s don't need it, grade 3s do, or stage 1C. Yeah. Do you treat 1A grade 2 cancers with chemotherapy? Let's say an endometrioid, 1A grade 2, does she need three cycles of chemotherapy? In a fully stage patients, I have to say I do share... Uh, Tom's opinion that I'm too concerned about recurrence. We do know that recurrent ovarian cancer patients, regardless of what the stage uh, initial diagnosis was, are really difficult to cure. Three or six doses? Three, early stage. Three or six doses, mm -hmm. Katie, ah. for an endometrioid, let's say grade two or three. So if I'm gonna treat them, and I think it's shared, I think it's shared decision making with the patient in Thank grade two. Thank you for that. Um, but a grade three, I would definitely recommend. I would do three right. for an endometrioid. So there's a, there's a whole philosophy out there that, that serous cancers, high-grade serous cancers, basically almost never grade one. <laughs> so even though the staging, which you say is important, may suggest that metastases are not present, I think most of us would give six cycles for that high-grade serous tumor with the assumption being that the studies would A, suggest it, but John the- John Chandler, the paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but the biology would, would be a more, is that, yeah, okay. I think there's a new important population, and those are the patients for whom uh, microscopic cancers are found at the time of risk-reducing okay. surgery. Okay, okay, yeah. And so Tell I don't me. think we know yet. Um, so a fully staged, again, fully staged, must be fully staged, but most of those will be high-grade serous mm -hmm. tubal carcinomas, mm -hmm. and by standard guidelines, 1A grade 3 would qualify for chemotherapy, but there are some reports that um, these patients do well without chemotherapy, so that may be a special population, but I don't think we know enough yet to but, not treat them yeah. with chemotherapy. If that were a close friend, would, would you recommend that? Omitting the like chemo. I said, we don't know enough to not recommend chemotherapy. So All I right. think chemotherapy is still the standard recommendation. Okay. 